Hey everyone, Ash here, and I finally got this fig this uh, puzzle figured out. What you're supposed to do is uh, you s the helmet. You're supposed to make make uh, the helmet think negative thoughts while you have the positive picture up. Speaking of which, it's a picture of Edna. Since Emmett's got the hots for her, I guess she's supposed to provoke a positive response. Which means we need to have him uh, think of think of a negative res response. And now that that's, uh, if I can get over there, now that that's done, we need to... Yeah, that's, that's how it works. Oh, he actually, uh, he actually initiated the uh, deal for me. John Wilkes Booth, the guy that shot Lincoln. So uh, I guess he's supposed to be a negative figure. Yep, and since uh, Emmett here has got a positive deal on, let's use the uh, slot advancer. Yeah, as long as the uh, as long as the record's going on, he'll switch back. He'll switch back to the positive deal. Well, Cannon's my man. Not what I wanted to look at. It's Danny Parker. He's a cop, so I guess he's supposed to get a positive response from model citizens. All right, so we need we need to have a negative response there. All right, that turned him into the neutral. Now we can't we can't do the uh, we can't do the stink here again. So let's do the generator. All right, now that that's in the red, if I can get back over there, time to advance the slide. Okay. Okay, yeah, now we need, now we need positive responses. Emmett's invention makes him out to be a model citizen, huh? Well, we'll just see about that. I don't know who that is, but he's clearly a tannin, so I guess he's a negative figure. Okay, since he's a negative figure, we need positive. Alright, now let's advance the slide. Yeah, that's gonna send him into the positive uh that's gonna send him send him into the positive bill. Now let's pick let's look at the picture here. I remember that picture from Edna's apartment in 1986. It's a kid and a relative of Edna, so it's probably a positive figure. Which means we need to have a negative. We need to have Emmett have a negative reaction. No. Right, he's in the neutral, so let's go activate the. Uh, let's go activate the valve here. Right, slide advancer. Right. Of, all right, that's going to send him back into the negative, but but that should send him into the neutral. And you, yeah, he does this after each slide. It's a slow, slow... Trixie, I don't think Edna approves of her, so I guess she's a negative figure. Which means we need a positive... Say the word. 
So you're the registration guy for the expo? And chief accountant, and paymaster. Hey, you're coming up in the world. And none of it would have happened if I hadn't responded to that subpoena. You haven't met Grand... I mean, Sylvia yet, have you? My contact person? Not yet. Is he or she at the expo? I don't think so, and I'm pretty sure it'll be a she. Alright. Keep your eyes open for Sylvia. What should I do when I meet her? Just let nature take its course. Why'd you have to go and fire Trixie? You think I wanted to? It's illegal for me to knowingly hire a Canadian for the job. And I don't want to be in trouble with the law again. I don't suppose you miss working for Kit Tannen? No sorry, Bob. I don't know how I ever got mixed up with an abusive, gun-toting thug like that. He even stiffed me on overtime pay. That ass. Think the Hill Valley Expo will be a success? I don't see why not. Why shouldn't California have its own high technology center? All right, so, uh, so uh, I think that's all we can get out of him. Keep doing what you're doing, Grandpa. Grandpa, uh, that's our uh, code name for you. Oh, ha! Funny. Good job at nearly blowing it there, Marty. And now, if I'm not mistaken. said to tell him when the light on his diagnostic thingy went green. Hey, the light's green. That means Doc could take the DeLorean out again. Yep. And now, this stuff here, this stuff here needs to be, uh, needs to be aged a little bit. How exactly do we do that? By sticking it in the DeLorean. It'll be safe in there. And of course, we need to talk to, a uh, Doc, or... Citizen Brown, whichever you prefer for this uh, episode, to uh, get him to test out the DeLorean. There's no telling what they're talking about, but... Uh, I see. Well, you certainly do know a... Positive deal. But yeah, this is a slow puzzle. Ah. Right, and slight advancer. And that's it. Oh, there. Hey, Emmy, I think your mind map test is broken. Oh, well, that switch just keeps chewing out on me. No time to fix it now. I'll have to take care of it at the expo. Looks like I'm not going to be doing any more mind maps. I guess I'll test this out and hope for the best. Which basically means if that shorts out, you succeeded at what you need to do. I wonder how this new mind map for Emmett turned out. Bingo! Now Emmett's mind map is as bad as Tannen's. Now all I have to do is swap this out with Emmett's original mind map and Emmett's own machine will do him in. Alright, let's, uh, let's go and do that right now then. Grab this. And switch it out here. Okay, Emmett. Get ready to meet the new you. Hey, what? I almost left behind my mind map card. We're gonna show it off at the expo as a rare example of a model citizen. Edna kill me if I forgot that. She might kill you anyway when she gets a look at that mind map. Once Emmett gets to the expo, I'll try to figure out how to get him to put his card in the mental alignment meter. But for now, I'd better concentrate on making Emmett a slot. Yep, that's our last, that's our last deal, and of course it involves this. Emmett says this stuff will clean anything, but it only has a 12 hour shelf life. Too bad I haven't got 12 hours, or do I? Actually, yes we do, and it involves a certain, a certain vehicle that's not working right now. No, we didn't go talk to we didn't go talk to Arthur Artie over here. <coughs> hey Artie. Hey Mr. G Man. How's the uh undercover operation? If everything goes as planned, we should be wrapping things up real soon now. 
about when it's time for me to play my part? Just not about me, Mr. Sagan. From one investigator reported to another, Mr. One might question your motives, but one can't help admiring your method. Alright, but I'm going to save that for next time because I am out of time. Later.